All right, what's up guys? I know I said I was probably gonna get this one out on like Thursday, but I had some extra time and figured I'd get it made a little bit quicker. So we're gonna jump into a run with Tau again. This time we're gonna focus on the mainstay weapon tree. Uh, try and get the ascensions rolling for this and just see how much weapon damage we can start pumping out. I think that if we can get the right ascensions, this is going to be very, very powerful. I'm really excited to see how this goes, so let's, uh, let's jump into this one and see where it takes us. Uh, you already know I'm taking a sword. I'd love to run this with a sword. I just, a lot of uh, the procs and stuff are based off of like how fast you can shoot a certain amount of times, you know, so... With like a sword, it's it's not uh, just not like an optimal weapon for that kind of a build. But man, they're fun. Good scroll for what we had last time. I don't know how that missed. Well, there's a glove with rate of fire on it. I'm gonna take that just so we have it. Until we get things rolling, though, we're going sword. Which is too much fun. Okay, well, that's a good one to start with. That's just instant stacks of weapon damage for us. Eh, that's not going to really help us a whole lot, because if this build starts rolling the right way, we won't even really need to reload, which is part of why this build is so fun. But for the sword, I guess it's kind of nice. That just hopped right over me. Okay. Um... Uh... Nothing really for us here. I mean, this is in the mainstay weapon tree, but it's for using the uh, swords out ability, which I guess is okay to take just as like a instant little backup to, to get some shield back if we really, really need to, but. Don't think it'll be needed. Got Kermit. Um, can kind of start running out of ammo on some stuff, so I guess I can take that just in case. But again, it's not anything great. <laughs> Swords don't even count as uh, shooting for the stacks. I just realized that. At least the left click doesn't, because it's. Uh... Just trying to get these stacks up here real quick. Um, I guess the left click's not using ammo, so it's not counting as uh, for the stacks. Just noticed that. It's actually good to know.
swapping out the big guns. I'm glad I noticed that, but that's a decent glove. Just flat 30% against elites and bosses. The lucky shot thing is kind of nice. This one's got a higher rate of fire though, which is technically better for this build. But you can mess with both of them, see which one ends up working better. fantastic either. This glove is already shredding. I guess I'm probably not really going to be using Flying Sword, so I want to keep my stacks up. I mean, I'll get them back quick, but I feel like this would be nice. I can just Fatal Bloom, and I'll just take 20% more damage when they're marked, which is nice. I mean, that's just, just an easy damage buff. Boom, or, you know, just kill them with Fatal Bloom as well, I guess. Another option, I suppose. Yeah, this thing is shredding. There we go. Now we don't need to worry about ammo ever again. So that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> Pretty much just never need to reload again already. Okay, so Blade Heart Stacks is another really good one to get because of the fact that I took the other one. So it'd be another three stacks at max that I could get. Yeah, I'm going to take the stacks over the 10% chance to summon a sword. Indiana Jones, let's go. I knew I was gonna get tagged in the back. Okay. Something that's at least semi useful. Tight squeeze, but we made it. 
Can't go wrong with that. If you get triple dash and the dash cooldown, that's like an amazing thing to have. That's actually an amazing, uh, <laughs> big hippo. It's pretty easy to get five kills, and then ten seconds of homing in bullets is insane, especially with 100% crit X. Hmm. The only thing is, it's do it doesn't have as high as a fire rate. I mean, it does. It speeds up, technically, as you hold it down. The initial fire rate's not that great. I think I am going to get that. Test it out, see how it works. But yeah, technically this should be really, really good. For clearing mobs, this is going to be better for bossing, obviously. The 30% uh, damage. Possibly, though. This actually, once it's spooled up and moving full speed, it's got, I think, a pretty similar rate of fire to this. We're gonna... Yeah, we'll enhance the big hippo. We'll test this guy out against the boss here. We'll try them both, but I won't, I won't rush through this boss. I'll try and see which one's doing more damage to him. It's pretty decent. Wait so I can hit his crits. Yeah, this seems like it's doing considerably more damage, so... Yeah, big hippo it is. Nice as the glove is. The damage is just so much higher. Oh man, that on top of the dash recovery, that's super nice. Okay, well, there we go. Another stack. Now we're up to eight. I think we've gotten some decent ascension so far. Definitely on par for, for a good run with this build, so... That tracking, that was so nice. I forgot I had that on here even. <laughs> it just did so much. Killing enemies that I didn't even know were there. My question is, do those five kills stack? Like once you get it, if you get five more kills, does it reset the timer because if it does that's absolutely insane I mean this is already feeling like like I'm cheating when that procs here we go just auto aim I actually feel like I'm using like an aimbot in Counter-Strike with like a Negev right now. <laughs> this is insane. Not that I do that. No VAC bans on record, baby. Let's go. I don't do that. Uh, well, nothing great, so I guess we'll take level two of that. Alright. Indiana Jones level two. Oh, I feel like I should have gotten hit by that, but all right.
All right, free life. So can't really go wrong there. This is literal aimbot. This is so dirty. Like, that is so fun, but so, so bad. I'm probably not gonna change weapons unless I find another one that has this, because it's way too awesome. Let's proc this right on the boss. Oh, stupid shield. There we go. There we go. Man, if he didn't have a shield, he would have gotten shredded so fast right there. We're definitely keeping this. Just gonna enhance the hell out of it. Extra coppers, the only thing really worth there. There's a chest up top. Negative. That's so just... Oh man, it's gnarly, man. Look at that. <laughs> it's too good. That is an insane proc to have on this gun. I don't think we could have gotten like any luckier with our weapon for this one. <laughs> it's just pure auto-aim. Quite annoying there. Uh, yeah, this is just super, super crazy. It's so much fun, though. I am immune to curse scrolls right now, I believe. Okay. Can I take that? Blind. Did I not take that? I guess I didn't. Okay, well, never mind then. This is just another stack of damage for Fatal Bloom. Might just take this though, just... <clears throat> Stuff's dying so quick, I'm not even really having a chance to cast Fatal Bloom on anything. If I was playing on like, the harder difficulties, that'd be a different story, but... This is a weird area. I can't even, like, get over how insanely fun this is with this gun. This is a weird area. 
Why do I feel like I've never seen this kind of layout in this stage? Oh, maybe I'm crazy, but this looks totally different. Every fifth shot, that's nice because we're shooting pretty quick. I have a decent glove. The, the little missile thing is kind of cool. The rest is kind of meh. It's still not gonna hold a candle to my, my little Negev here. Shield guy. Alright. Oh, okay. I was a little scared there. They're all purple, but I got another freaking stack. That's nice. The blade heart stack. That's actually Man, that's actually a really nice love. That 65% damage buff with the 50% elemental effect chance when hitting an enemy. And then the rate of fire. Ooh. Yeah, I need to try that out. It's actually really, really interesting roll. Technically, I already have this as a thing for this character. It's one of the talents, so. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good glove. Full Iron Man here, though it is going to end up needing to be reloaded at times. Because its fire rate is so high, it can't sustain itself yet. Um, that's alright, reload super quick. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, that it's so hard not to use my big hippo, though, just because of that tracking. It's insane. There we go, now we're stacking the stuff. Okay, that's what I wanted to get. Ah, oh, man, I don't even know. It's a hard thing to decide on here as far as what I want to use against this guy. There. Hmm. I want to etch this because you can get Gemini as an etch. But if it just gives me something random and stupid, that kind of sucks. We're going to gamble it. It's yellow time. All right, we got a Gemini. We're golden. We're running big hippo to the end now for sure. Because we're going to get something with a real high crit X and use this Gemini to combine it because then you're getting 100% crit X for that 10 seconds that it's locking on. So if we can get that crit X up to like five or six or something crazy, it's going to be like 10 crit X during this, which is just, I'm so excited to see what kind of damage that ends up putting out. All right. Big old flying saber tooth tiger boy. Let's go.
guy is such a pain. Give me that eagle dive. All my loot. There we go. I am. Yeah, light the shield, that's always nice. Uh nothing really too great here. Uh we could take this to kinda uh, like debuff bosses and stuff, which is decent. I still need to test if this I'm gonna take it because I, mean, I got nothing else good going. But I'm curious if this stacks up with this. So like if this the flying sword from the the ascension here, if this affects the damage of this, this and this stack together might actually be really, really good. But I haven't fully tested that to know. So as of right now, I am unsure. Peddler, maybe we can get a good high crit X weapon here. Oh, and a craftsman right there. There we go, some dash cooldown. Four, 4.2. And that's already got the Gemini on it. So I'm gonna take that. Just for now. Okay. So that puts me at 5.2 crit X. So that'll be 10.4 when I'm using that proc that makes him home in. So. I think we're definitely going to call this like a Negev aimbot build. <laughs> so I can't really call it a build because the chances of getting this weapon in a run are so damn slim. But if you do, well, then you have this to look forward to. <laughs> oh, it's just so nice. Like, honestly, if it was only for like five seconds or something, it probably wouldn't be so great. But ten seconds is honestly a long time uh, to be having ammo just homing in on people and dealing essentially double crit X damage. That's insane. Good old lanterns just letting me proc immediately. It's so ridiculous. It honestly feels pretty broken, to be completely honest.
Just in case the damage does stack. Take level two at that. It's insane. Like, just destroying stuff I can't even see yet. Yeah, let's, let's see what happens here. Just go to town. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. I can't even... This is probably going to go down as, like, one of my most fun builds that I've ever had. <laughs> it's so good. Three dashes with 50% dash cooldown. And we've got the restoring shield on when we dash. This is just... This is the build of builds, man. I'm telling ya. I don't typically like to play on, like, the harder difficulties, but honestly... I kinda wish I was at this point. <laughs> Greater big hippo. Yeah, buddy. That is seriously the dirtiest thing ever. Again, another one that I don't know if this procs with uh, the other stuff. I, I wish there was like a... Um, like a, a test uh, area or something where you can like kind of pick ascensions and scrolls and stuff specifically so you can test things. That would make, that would be, man, that would be really, really cool actually for this game. Might try to suggest something like that in the Discord if it hasn't already been suggested. Maybe it has. I'm sure there's a lot of people that would really, really enjoy that as well. But, I mean, being able to actually test what things work with each other and everything else would make coming up with builds so much easier. Take a lot of the guesswork out of it. And with the randomness in this game, it's really hard to test a lot of stuff like that, so I think it'd be really, really cool. Mm-hmm. 
feel like I got this something back there, but at this point we're rolling so hard I don't even care. Chest up here. And aimbot, go. Wish there was another big hippo back there. How insane would it be if it was another one with this roll on it? Man, I just I can't even with this. That's a decent one, but it doesn't hold a candle to this thing. Oh, hell no. No thanks. Just save our money to enhance this. Sure. More damage, why not? Well, nothing too great there. See any faults now? All right, well, boss time, baby. And that is... It's too good. I feel like I need to like screenshot this just because it's such a good weapon. If you know, you know. And if you don't, well, watch this video and you will. This theoretically should just shred through this boss. It sucks that there's not a lot of ads because if there was enough ads, to just kick that auto aim in it would be insane. Though I wonder if each of those cannons is counting as a, an enemy. That was a good one. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. This was an insane build. Um, we'll go over <laughs> what was making it so crazy here. Uh, mainly this weapon. Honestly, it, it would have still been strong with a different weapon. A, a glove or something would have been doing a ton of damage as well. But just this orange text on here, the legendary mod on this, kill five enemies and then everything just locks onto weak points with double crit X for 10 seconds. We mix that with a Gemini that increases your crit X. So we're at 5.2, that kicks up to 10.4 on the crit X and it's just locking into to like weak points. It's insane. 
insane. Literally aimbot with a Negev and Counter Strike. But better because you don't, you know, <laughs> can't still get one shot. <laughs> um yeah, you mix that with stuff like this, where every ten am ten ammo consumed, you're getting more rate of fire, more accuracy, and a chance to recover ammo. This for every sack of blade heart, you're getting increased weapon damage by eight percent. We had nine stacks, that's seventy two percent damage increase just right there, just for having the stacks. Um these this and this, I don't know how much damage they're really doing. It was definitely a very small amount compared to just our flat out weapon damage. Um, because you're also mixing in what else did we have? All the blade heart stacks. Um, if I did cast my fatal bloom, that's another 20% damage. There was just a lot going on here that was mixing. Again, I need to test if like the epic sword craft for your flying sword base damage and the furious wave for the chance to deal double damage. I need to test if that works for this and also for this. Um, if those activate on these flying swords from Blade of Bloom and from Empathy with Sword, these could be very, very viable. But again, I really want like a test area where you can just freely pick ascensions and weapons and mods and things like that just to test things with. Um, just because it would make it makes stuff a lot easier to test out. It would be really, really convenient for, for making up builds. But either way, I think I usually tend to come up with some pretty cool ones even without knowing. Um, yeah, that was a super, super fun run. Um, honestly, I, I didn't think I was going to have more fun with a run than I did with my, my uh, Swordmancer build that I did, but I think this topped it. Just the auto-aim aspect was just too much. It was so fun. I uh, hope you guys had as much fun watching it as I did playing it, because that was amazing. Uh, those were kind of the three builds that I was looking into. I might try and test the things I was talking about to see if I can't make a build out of those ones. Uh, other than that, though, let me know what you guys want to see as far as other gunfire content. I was thinking about making, like, a boss guide to kind of sh show the different bosses and their different movesets and what stuff you can do to kind of help avoid or fight back against them. Um, so let me know if that's something you'd want to see. I can also try and do more of these kind of build videos and edit them down, uh, essentially to just highlight clips of going through the run, showing what ascensions I'm getting, what weapons I'm getting, uh, to kind of speed it up and make the videos shorter. I know a lot of people do like to see the full unedited runs though, which is why I've been kind of doing these. Um, but if you want to see like a cut down edited version, let me know and I'll give that a shot. I'm still new with the editing stuff, still learning. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you want to see. Appreciate you guys coming by. Peace.